We came here in 1994. There was this place where we're standing here. It was actually a playground where the sites of the Hoa Temple. At that time, the children come to play, you know, also a lot of uh, alcoholics or uh, drug addicts. It became a playground for uh, junkies and alcoholics. And I made a lot of photographs here because of the beautiful wall paintings. See here, still, a monkey, there was a big gorilla, there was a, a, a lion, there was a giraffe. Really beautiful. You can see, still the, see the dragon on the wall of the playground. Then, for a while, it was neglected and there was nothing until the moment uh, we heard talk about the uh, appearance of a temple, which we all thought, as people living in the neighborhood, that would be a great idea. In Canada, they had a temple constructed by Fo Gong Shan and really helped the neighborhood a lot and attracts different kinds of people. So, they did have an idea. Why don't we use this land this playground and convert it into a temple. Money had to be collected, uh, the ground had to be purified, uh, so many things. All that, when you look at the plants, you know, it's still a miracle that this exists. And this is 1996 when we have the ground uh, purifying, the ground laying. When the temple was opened by the Queen, uh, it was a big, big celebration, of course, yeah. and the temple got a lot of publicity because of that. With the opening of the temple, we were very honored that she, she came and a joyful day for all of us. And ever since, Evelyn Renault and myself, Evelyn is also a photographer, we decided to uh, record a lot of happenings and a lot of celebrations in the temple. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh. 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 How many visitors uh, are there? Some days we get 300 minimum, and then maximum we get close to 2,000. In just five hours. We open from 12 to 5. And during the Chinese New Year's weekend, we have over 5,000. This is Buddha Day 2009. It's an impression actually of several Buddha days. Uh, because you see there's one where it was raining. See, and uh, it's always a great celebration for the area.
We started to celebrate the Buddha's Day at Newmar in uh, 1998. So we, we tried to make it a tradition. So we, every year we would celebrate there. You know, sometimes it's difficult because the weather is not very, you know, very good. So sometimes it's very wet. But most of the time we really have a nice weather and people have a great time. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, let people of different ages live in harmony. Let people of different social stations have mutual respect. Let people of different professions work in cooperation. Let people of different religions practice with tolerance. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, please hear my sincere and pious prayer. Please bestow peace upon the world. Please bless all sentient beings with harmony. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, please accept our sincere prayer. Namo Sakamuni Buddha.